Today we are diving at the famous Waimea Bay on the north shore of Oahu. Most people, including myself, are used to surfing here and not diving here. In the winter time, there may be 30 to 50 foot waves breaking right here, and if you were diving, you'd be drowned in about two seconds. In the summertime, it's actually an incredible dive site. The huge waves have actually tore off giant boulders over thousands of years from the reef, and the boulders roll around in the surf. Even at nighttime on a huge swell, a lot of the surfers nearby can hear the boulders rolling around. What it does is it makes all these caves and cracks in the reefs that there's all kinds of cool critters that live in from these ghost shrimp, or from these shrimp to this unbelievably cool Spanish dancer nudibranch. Pam, my dive buddy here, is actually diving in a giant hole at Waimea Bay that was carved by some big round rocks that kept rolling around in the large surf for thousands of years. And those rocks then carved a giant hole right in the middle of Waimea Bay. Some of these rocks may weigh 10 to 20 tons that get moved around in the winter surf. These big holes in the reef have sea turtles that sleep in there. A whole ecosystem of critters that live in these holes in the reef at Waimea Bay. It's really kind of fascinating to dive here and just think that in three to four months from the time you dive in the summer, there may be guys up above charging 20 to 30 foot waves surfing in the Eddie Aikau contest. This has really been a famous spot for many, many years for surfers, but very few people actually dive here and enjoy its underwater beauty.